Hello everyone. Welcome to this lecture of the course Digital Electronics and Circuits. And in this particular lecture, we will be solving some of the problem statements depending upon the course content which we have discussed, right? So let's get into problem solving. And the first problem solving is how can we implement following gates using a two is to one mux? Basically, we have to implement not gate. Two input AND gate, two input OR gate, right, and D two input NOR gate using two is to one multiplexer, right. Let's get started. To start with this, right, let's recall what is the structure of a mux. Two is to one mux is something like a box over here, where depending upon the select line S0, one of the inputs D0 and D1 will be transferred to the output Q0, right? And this is something which we draw like this. This is a select line. This is D0, this is D1, and this is the output. Correct? Now, if we have to obtain a NOT gate behavior, NOT gate behavior is something like, let's assume our NOT gate is this circuit input is A, output is C. If we create a truth table, if input is A, 0, output is 1. If input is 1, output is 0. Right? What does this mean? This means that I can construct a NOT gate using a MUX if, at, if and only if what we can do is this select line of the MUX we connect to A. Right? If A is 0, we transfer 1 to the output. And if A is 1, we transfer 0 to the output. And this is nothing but C. So this is one of our examples of a NOT gate using 2 is to 1 mux. I hope this is clearer. Right now, let's move on to 2 input AND gate. So if we look at AND gate, our AND gate looks something like this. C, A, and B where c is equal to a dot b we have to draw a toast table it will be like a b c 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 right so this is an example of a and gate right and now if we have to implement an and gate using a mux let's think how we can implement it basically the output over here c we want something equal to a and b right let's do one thing if this is a select line what if I connect B into select line? If B is 0, right, output has to be 0 irrespective of what A is, right? So to D0, we connect 0. And if B is 1, right, if B is 1, whatever value of A is there, it's transferred to C. So we will get A over here. So this is an AND gate, correct? Similarly, OR gate is something like if we have A and B and we do a OR operation over here, C, C is equal to A or B and the truth table is A, B, C, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. So basically when both A and B are 0, output is 0, otherwise the output is 1, right? So this will be something opposite of what we saw for AND gate. If this is our multiplexer, this is our output C which is equal to A or B, right? If B is the select line over here, if B is zero, output will depend upon A. If B is zero, output will depend upon A. If A is zero, output will be zero. If A is one, output will be one, right? So we will connect A to D zero. And if B is one, right? Irrespective of what A is, output is always 1. So we will connect 1 over here. So this is a 2 input OR gate uh, using a 2 is to 1 MUX. Is this correct? Now we saw that, okay, let's implement a NOR gate. A NOR gate is nothing but not a for. We have already seen how to implement a NOR gate using a 2 is to 1 MUX. And we have already seen how to implement a OR gate using a 2 is to 1 MUX, right? 
So what we can do is we can first use an OR gate. Our OR gate was something like we had B in the select line. If B is 0, output depends upon A. If B is 1, output is 1. Correct. So this is zero. So this is first. Now this is nothing but A or B, right? If we not this, and how did we decide a not function? So basically, in this not function, right, this will act like a select line of a mux. So it's like a select line of a mux. This is the output. So if A or B is 0, correct, the output is 1. If these are 1, output is 0. So this is NOR gate using 2 is to 1 mux. I hope this particular example was clear. Right? Now let's move on to one more example where we say design. 4 is to 1 mux using 2 is to 1 muxes. Right? Let's draw a truth table for 2 is to 1 mux and 4 is to 1 mux. Right? 4 is to 1 mux will we will have two select lines and then we will an output y. So either it could be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Right? If and let's assume we have multiple inputs i3, i2 i1 and i0 if the select lines are 0 0 output i0 will be transferred otherwise i1 i2 and i3 right if we divide this particular to table into two blocks what we will see is if s is 0 i0 or i1 will be going in if s is 1 i2 and i3 will pass through correct now this simply tells me that our mux has to be a two stage mux where we say that this is our first mux right we have a select line here we have a select line here i0 i1 i2 i3 now depending upon select line s0 so each of this mux has only one select line right This is 2 is to 1 mux. This is 0, this is 1, this is 0, this is 1. Let's connect S0 over here. Now, when S0 is 0, what would happen? Both I2 and I0 will enter over here. Right? and depending upon S1 if it is we'll get a Y so basically we can design a 4 is to 1 mux using 3 2 is to 1 muxes what would happen over here is F S0 is 0 right both this will get I0 this will get I2 right now depending upon S1 is S1 is 0 I0 will be transferred to output. So 0, 0 gave I, I0 as output. In case S0 is 0 and S1 is 1, what would happen? This is 0, I0 and I2 came. This is 1, so basically I2 will get transferred. Now let's assume S0 is 1. If S0 is 1, what would happen is I1 will come here, I3 will come here. Now depending upon S1, is S1 is 0, I1 will be transferred. If S1 is 1, I3 will be transferred. So basically what we have done over here is we have designed 4 is to 1 mux using 3, 2 is to 1 muxes. Right? I hope you like this particular problem solving session. Stay tuned for more.